that will be to see huh yeah we'll figure that one out at a later time I'll probably be going to the welding shop getting a chunk of iron I kind of see where I got to be with stuff And, uh, oh yeah, there's a fuel tank I had made. I don't have a cap for it yet, and I see that one's getting kind of beat up. Let's see, I have to make a stirring column for it. Here's what I come up with for brakes. I made all this, this is all hooked up. I kind of got my lines. I think the system's all sealed up. I just have to double check and see where I was at. That's kind of a crazy contraption. I gotta make my pedals inside. They're just hanging there. They butchered this dash, so I got to build a different column. I think what I'll be doing is trimming this out more, seeing what I can get into here in the bulkhead. Um, might put a bracket in here if I got enough strength. Hang a heim joint in here, put a three quarter inch shaft through, and just run a straight shaft and go from there. Uh, these seats clearly got to be something better. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Oh, finish mounting the tires. Um, yeah. Don't quite understand where my belts went. And I thought I had the pulleys all figured out, so I don't understand why the pulleys don't line up. But as you can see, I got quite a few projects going on, so easy to get misplaced. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Okay. Oh, I got too much work to do. Anybody want an education or to learn anything, uh, you're more than welcome to come on over. I'll, uh, I'll try to teach you everything I can that... And probably some things that you don't want to learn. This needs to get done really quick. Um, yeah. And I mean like really quick. The axles are over here for it. I need to clean this yard up. And that's why this is kind of a motivational deal to get this YouTube channel going. And try to get some projects done. And... and uh, Maybe motivate some other people to do stuff out of their comfort zone. Because I just kind of do whatever. And uh, I got a surprise for you guys. I've been talking about rebuilding carburetors. I'll go over here. And uh, I don't know if I ever showed you the inside of the bus or not. But... Uh, one of my projects this summer is, is to totally get this bus redone. Um, originally I was going to make a camper out of it. I put an AC unit in the back of it. And like I told you guys, we peek in the dark hole there. Carburetor needs rebuilt on that. Uh, carburetor needs tuned on this Plymouth. Got to do a few other things to it. But... The bus here. Um, anybody need a 1968 C4? There you go. 
Uh, I got a bunch of trannies in here. I got to get my C6 done so I can get that plow truck done. I want to get the rest of the seats out of here. I want to get this organized. I got to get a bunch of trannies done. I got to go over to my friend's shop. I don't know if I'll be doing it here because I've not quite got everything. Or I'll probably go to his place, put that C6 together. You'll get to meet Dennis if I do. I'm sure he'll let me record. That C6 getting built up. We're putting extra clutches in it. I got a bunch of different stuff. I'm putting extra clutch backs in it. It's getting a shift kit put in it. Uh, believe we're using a Transgo. That's usually what we use on everything. Um, these C4s that I got. Let's see. They're kind of a little bit of here, a little bit of there. Um... I have a good C4 somewhere. I just don't know if I can get my eyeballs on it. Um, but anyways, C4 is going to get built up. In that black box there is actually two C4 transmissions. All the parts and stuff. Um, I see I got cases, housings. Like I said, I've been picking C4s apart here. Getting off track, but anyways, letting you know what's going on. I want to get this bus cleaned out. This is going to be for transmissions and carburetors. I told you guys I got carburetors going. Please bear with me. I just took a step. I got a real interesting piece coming. Uh, I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag, but when you guys see it, you're going to be quite, quite, uh, quite surprised and quite uh, intrigued. It's uh, kind of a cat's meow for doing stuff and hopefully it'll work really good for carburetors because I got the cleaner for carburetors and everything and uh, I'm actually going to be doing a two-step process. That's a bl some extra saw blades I got for my uh, saw bucks um, tile for my house. So yeah, this is the bus and like I said, the bus project. I want to get these seats out because... Up front there, in that front corner, I want to put my stand for put my transmissions on. Um, that's kind of where I'm thinking of putting it. I need to get some lighting in here. I got some power inverters. Back here, I want to put a table. And I want to turn that seat around so I can sit on that seat and have this table. Don't remember where the wheel well is at in this thing, but I'll probably have to do some fancy shucking and driving. That's the AC unit and heat box I put in the back here. I don't have the heater hooked up, but the AC's hooked up. Now the crazy idea is, as I figure I can travel around and maybe help some friends out and build drownies and do other stuff with the bus being mobile. That's the reason for putting a tranny shop in here. And uh, like I said, uh, within a week here, I'm going to start hitting carburetors pretty hard. Um, you guys will be able to see what I'm doing with the carburetors and it's going to be quite interesting. Here's a roller cam 350 block 4 bolt main. It's uh, not looking too pretty, but it was a good engine. I had it all covered up, but that's a whole nother story in itself. Um, I got chem dip for carburetors. I'm going to use the chem, chem dip. Clean them off. And uh, once I get them cleaned off, the chem dip, then I'll be going in another process. I'll show you the other process when I get it. It's uh, kind of hard to explain, but some of you might know what it is. Some might not, but when you see it, it'll... We'll find out how well it's going to work. And, man, do I got to figure shit out. Whoops. Figure stuff out. How does that sound? Get a few things done here. Get a couple jobs done. The C4 is getting built. 
That 351 Windsor is getting built. Um, I'm going to get the measuring gauges for it. I'm pretty sure it'll be just left as stock bore. Um, I'm going to put a different set of rods in it and uh, pistons with floating wrist pins. The reason is for that is uh, I'm going to order some good, good heads for it. But I am going to be opening my ring gaps up and I'm going to be flirting with nitrous on that motor. It's a whole new game for me, but I'm going to read up on it, try to figure it out, and uh, yeah, we'll be going from there. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mess, but I'll get it organized one day here. Well, you all take care, have a good evening, and keep the greasy side down.